Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. I'm Brian Zakowski and we are talking about uh, type, letting, tracking, and baseline shift. Now this is sp specific to the preferences in Illustrator, so we are going to be going there again. I have this document already made and uh, if you would like to use this document you can go ahead and uh, open one of your own, almost just like it in the objects used in videos and it's going to be type. It's pretty pretty much like this one here except I took the uh, Cartoon Smart logo out of it. Other than that it's the same. I'll close that. So you can use that if you want or you can just watch, kick back and watch. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, of course. I'm not going to come to your house and make you do it. So, alright. If you're in Windows, go to Edit, go to your Preferences on a Mac it's going to be under Illustrator and it's going to be right there. I'm going to go over to Type. Uh, this video we're going to talk about uh, these guys here. Size, Letting, Tracking, and Baseline Shift. Now, The size and the letting are kind of two different things obviously but they put it in the same I don't know there was room for another one right here and they decided to, to make this value control both of those for some reason. There's probably a good reason I don't know about it. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna bring that to two. It was I think it was two to begin with. And uh, but for this uh, for this demonstration I'm gonna start from there. Okay. Here I have um, some blocks of text that I used in the uh, uh, in the cartoon here. So, in this text right here, if I was, oh, you know, I forgot to tell you, this refers to keyboard shortcuts, to adjusting this with the keys, because if you wanted to do it while you're working manually, you have your character uh, palette that you could work with, which is under here, and it's going to go down to, where is it? Hmm. Character, character, type, type, type. Was it type? Right down there. Character. There you go. Sorry, it took so long to find that. Okay. So, with this block of text, text selected, I can control the letting by holding down the Alt or Option key and pressing the up or down arrow next to the number pad. I'm pressing the down right now, so it adjusts the letting downward and uh, the increment is directly related to what we set right here. It's doing it by two points. Watch when I bump that up to 20, right? It's still selected. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option and now it jumps, jumps up by 20, 20 points. Now, since we have that already selected, um, like here, this also controls the size of the text. Click OK. Right now, it's set to jump it up by 20, but that's a lot when you're talking about um, point size and text. So I'm just going to leave that at two for the moment. And uh, if you're on Windows, it's going to be Control Shift here on the Mac it's going to be command shift and you don't use the arrow keys by the keypad you use the the little greater than or less than keys which is to the right of the M on your keyboard so I'm going to hold down the command and the shift you're going to hold down control and shift if you're on Windows and I'm going to use the greater than or less than keys I'm going to go to the right one the right greater than increases the size of the text. I can go the left um, or the the uh, less than key looks like an arrow. I'm going to call them arrows just to not confuse myself. The left one brings that size down. So you're going to be holding the command shift or control shift depending on what operating system you're on. Okay, let's go back over to type once again 
and now we have tracking. Let's go. Ahead. Let's uh, use uh, this one right now. But the tracking uh, is the same thing. No, actually, it's not the same thing. Why did I even say that? Well, it's the same key on your keyboard. You're gonna hold down the Alt, right? With this block of text selected the way it is, if I hold down my Alt and go to the right, that is affecting my tracking. Now, a whole block of text together, and you do this, it's called tracking. If I was to put my insertion point in between two characters and do the same thing, that's called kerning. You can probably hear me tapping the, the arrows. We're back to the arrow keys next to the keypad to do this. Let's go back to the preferences, go back to type, and okay, now let's set that to set that to something like 200. Let's go up to 200. All right, go back in here. See if that makes a difference. Oh, it sure does. It makes a big difference. Okay, if I back out, back out of the block of text by pressing my uh, general selection arrow. Now, if I do the same thing, hold down the Alt or Option, and go right or left on the keyboard, and see how much that affects it, just with one tap of the arrow key. Okay, let's go back to the type once more. And now we're talking about baseline shift. And uh, right now it's set to two points. And let me show you what that is. Say we have, actually, I'm going to go ahead and select baseline in this word to show you. Now I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option and press the up. I'm sorry, that's not the right thing. All right. Oops. I'm all screwed up here. Okay, the Alt, oh yeah, that's it, I, I found it, the Alt or Option plus Shift, okay, hence the word Shift, <laughs> that's a good way to remember it, I guess, okay, Alt or Option, and then the up arrow on your, next to your keypad is going to send that out, down is going to bring it below, you can do that with, uh, with an entire word. You can do that with just a letter in a word. Say you wanted to make a fraction look more realist realistic. Realistic. Let's do that. Let's go type a one slash two space. Now you could hold down Alt or Option and Shift arrow key up, alt or option and shift, arrow key down. Now we could select all of those and adjust the, uh, the tracking by holding alt or option and then the left right. So by doing that you could create a fraction, you know, it looks more a little a little more normal when you do that. Okay, so if we go back to Illustrator Preferences, back over to Type once again, and did we cover all those? We covered the size, letting, tracking, I have an email apparently, uh, tracking, and then baseline shift. Okay, I uh, hope that was useful to you. Um, I'm Brian Zakowski for Cartoon Smart. Uh, catch me in uh, another video. All right, bye.